I'm going to show you how to convert a vertical video into a horizontal video using iMovie. It's an effect you see quite a bit on the news. All right, here we are in iMovie. This is iMovie version 10.4 running on macOS 14.4.1. And I've got a standard iMovie project here. And I have a clip in my media browser. This is a vertical video that I shot with my iPhone. I'm going to convert this vertical video into a horizontal video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the video here. And then I'm going to hit the E key to place it on the timeline. And as you can see, this is my vertical video in a horizontal project. You can see the black bars, not terribly attractive. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go up to the top, up to the content browser under the title section. I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab this one here, the pull focus title. I'm going to click, drag, place it on top of my clip, and then I'm going to stretch it out all the way so it covers my clip completely. All right, so here it is. Of course, we don't want that title text. We just want the blurred background part. So I am just going to select the title, double click it. You can see the title text is selected. I'll hit delete to delete that text. Go up and hit the blue check mark to take the change. And now I have a nice blurred background. Now, one thing about this pull focus title, if you go to the beginning, you can see there's no blur. And as I play, the blur fades on. So that can be a bit of an issue. So if you're gonna use this technique, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a bit of video before you start at the beginning and at the end. Now, if you don't have a top and tail a pad so that this effect can fade in, I'll show you a little trick to get around that. I'm gonna go back up and in the content browser, go to backgrounds, and then I'm gonna grab the black background. It can be any background. I'm gonna click and drag it and drag it to the beginning of the timeline here. Then I'm going to just click the end here and trim it down to around one second or so. I think about 1.2 is the fade, yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the title here I'm going to stretch it out to the beginning of the timeline. So now that fade happens over the black. And I can trim this black part out later when I edit. But if I play this, boom, the clip has the blurred background effect right away. And so we'll do that at the end as well because this title fades out, as you can see, and it's gone. So I'm just going to grab this black, select it, Right click, copy, and hit the down arrow on my keyboard to go right to the end of the timeline here. And then I'll use the keyboard shortcut, Command V, to paste that black in there. And then I'll drag this over top. And now if we play the beginning, instant blur, I'll scroll over here to the end and play, no fade out. So that's a little trick to get around the fades on those titles. Okay, now that we have this, we're going to export it. So I'm going to go up to the top right of the interface and select the share button. And from the share menu, select export file. And over in the export settings here, everything looks pretty good. Compress, better quality. That looks good. And I'll hit next. And then I'm going to name this vertical to horizontal BG for background and hit save and my project is exported. All right, here's the video I exported with the blurred background here in the finder. I'll click and drag and bring it back into the media browser of my project, and there it is. Beautiful. And we've got the black at the beginning, but we'll trim that out. So we don't need this stuff down here, these clips and the title and the black here, so I'll select all of it, hit the delete key to get rid of it. Then I'm gonna grab, or select rather, my newly imported blurred background shot, select it and hit the E key to place it on the timeline. And there it is. And so I'll quickly, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna trim off the black edges that we created from the little trick there. That's pretty good. Go to the end, grab that, 
drag back to trim just to get that last frame. Great. Let's check it. Beautiful. So it's going on six years. Okay. So the next step now that we have this is to select it and go up to the top of the preview window to the toolbar here and select the crop tool. And in the cropping here, I'm going to select crop to fill. Then I'm going to drag down this crop to fill window. And I want to center it on the clip here. That looks pretty good. Great. I'll hit the blue check mark to take that. And now we are cropped in or zoomed in to the blurred clip. Cropping in like that, zooming in essentially obscures the clip even more, which is great. But we're not done. With the clip still selected here, I'm going to go back up to the top toolbar here and this time select the clip filter. And over in clip filter, I'll select the none button here. And then up pops the clip filter gallery with all these different filters that you can apply to your clips. I'm going to pick romantic. The romantic clip filter blurs the footage a bit more. So I'll select that. And you can see that the footage is a bit more blurred, but I'm going to crank that up by dragging this slider here and bringing the clip filter all the way to 100%. All right. Now, if we play that back, you can see now we're zoomed in, it's blurred, and it's blurred a little bit more with the romantic clip filter. But I'm going to add something more here. I'm going to go back up to the toolbar, and this time I'm going to go over here to color correction, and I'm just going to take the brightness down a little bit, and I'm going to adjust the contrast just to wash it out a bit more. You can see that. Just make it a little more obscure. Maybe I'll brighten it up just a touch more. All right, now that looks really obscured, which is perfect. So for the last step, I'm gonna go back into the media browser and select my vertical video clip here, then click and drag it and place it on top of the background clip. Let's see. So it's going on six years. Now there's a bit of a sync issue, very slight. You can adjust the length of these clips to match it up, but for me, is good enough. And you can use the audio waveforms to line up the clips so you aren't out of sync so much. But for me, this is fine. But I have double audio, I don't want that. So I'm gonna select the background clip again, go back up to the top toolbar and select the volume button. And then over here, I'm gonna click on this little speaker to mute that clip. All right, let's listen again. So it's going on six years that I've been on YouTube. And there it is, a vertical video converted to a horizontal video. And here's the final exported video. So it's going on six years that I've been on YouTube, and I've just gotten around to making a channel trailer.